Today I'm also lucky I have here my friend and student Marco and I will show you some exercises with Marco. Um, first exercises are uh, for power and um, one exercise um, we will show is push-ups backwards and you can also do it um, with, your part, with your training partner. I will show you and you go like this and then you go like that. This is very simple and for both it is um, also not so easy so he will also not relaxing, he also feels a little bit pressure in that way while I'm, I'm doing my exercise and after we repeat it a while then um, of course we change. This was the first example for partner exercises. The second example was a really nice one, it is also for push-ups. Um, I will show you. And, um, let's, let's, let's do it like this because of the camera. But it's, mm -hmm. so, and then I go down like this. And there is also another thing that I would like to show you. Marco, now I make it once with you. Yeah. And now try to walk in front. And I pull him back. He tries to walk in front, I pull him back. Wait, I let you down. And uh, I pull him just in that way back that he is still able to walk in front. This is also um, a really good exercise. Um, I have seen it once from Shaolin monks and yeah, it's really good for your arms um, but in that way it's really not a contest because it's clear the guy who's standing is stronger and um, the guy who's standing makes just the maximum power of the other guy who is uh, going on the hands forward. This are the, yeah, already three really nice exercises for gaining power in your body and now we will show you some other stuff. So now um, we will also show you some partner exercises, every kick, every punch, every defense, whatever you learn. You can of course uh, also train with your partner and I can tell you of course this is even makes more fun and is even more effective because you can see what you're doing. Um, let's start with something um, yeah, easy, for example kicks. Um, this you can for example do like that. You can also kick deeper, this is um, all fine when you make the kicks, then it is important that you always control the kick. That the kick is not ending here, that you go down like this. Marco, for example, fell right now a little bit in the kick, this can happen, he's also still a beginner, um, but uh, in theory it should look like this. Exactly, yeah, more or less. <laughs> so, but therefore this is good when you train together, because I see his mistakes in that moment, which he maybe wouldn't see, but I'm standing opposite, so that's why it's always good to have a partner for this. Yeah, we will show also something else. Um, then, for example, also you can make combinations. That, for example, when Marco would make again a kick, then I could um, make a defense and a counter-attack. For example, make a kick, Marco. That I go like this and then I can, for example, just pull him on, um, down. Of course, I make it carefully, I don't want to hurt him, I still need him as a, tra a training buddy, so no reason to kill him. So what I just made, just this here in this example, I just saw that he will kick, uh, and this time I didn't see it, but um, yeah, in that moment I went in front and was already not in here, so out of his distance and just have to pull him then down. This is very simple. But this kind of um, combinations, of course, you can train them. So, um, then also what is also very simple, but also you should definitely do it with your partner, is um, punch and defense. So, we met Marco and me, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah we can also make like this, Marco. Hey. Um, let, let make like this and like this, like this, like this. And here I can now practice very well 
that I don't make the defense like here, because here I am not anymore. I will lose my time. I just have to make the defense, back again, until this point, because here my phase is ending. And in that moment I don't have to go further. And this kind of things is also always really good to train with a partner. And then, of course, I can also start with combinations. If I, for example, go then into in. There are different possibilities what I could do in that case with him when I have him. And yeah, this kind of. This, for example, I could do. Uh, but yeah. Here he is open, there on the face, there are many points where I could, um, many really show it once, there are many points where um, you can hit him. Here, for example, is a very effective point, here is a very effective point, there is a very effective point, also where I can really, with the um, side of my hand, when I strike him with this, then um, I can really have very hard effects. And of course, here the nose. We also don't want to forget that. There you can steer somebody like this and he will already fall. So just uh, yeah, some information next to it. So this was about um, yeah, some classical Kung Fu exercises with the partner. And now we come to, yeah, let's say, also still classical exercises, but more playful exercises. You will see. Yeah, now we also have something um, other, very nice exercise, it's called Disappearing Hand. And for this, uh, Marco, um, Marco will now um, try to reach my hand. For this, I uh, put my hand more or less on the middle of his breast height and a little bit away from him, that is not too easy. And he, as you see, he's trying to catch my hand and my job is to take my hand away before Marco can grip them. Exactly. And therefore I have to imagine, or I have to look, where is Marco's movement. Marco maybe will try with the other arm, that the camera can see it also better. But Marco, when he is fair, he waits one moment. For example, when I make like this, then your partner should wait one moment until you are down. And then, he can start again, not when I'm coming down, because this is no challenge for Marco. This we don't want. Marco needs challenge, and that's why Marco must wait. <laughs> Sorry. So, what do we see here? Is, uh, what I saw on Marco is that um, with what is Marco starting? Usually, Marco should start with his hand, but as you guys probably also saw on the camera, Marco is starting with his uh, shoulder a little bit. And um, that's why I see him coming mostly, before he is striking. And this is what I'm training right now, also for uh, myself on this, that Marco cannot reach me. And on the other hand side, when I'm doing this with Marco, then I learn how to be fucking fast. So that means I um, must be really fast. How do I reach this? Marco, may wait, make a little bit higher, it's too easy. Yeah, exactly. Ah, very good. I reach that in that moment uh, when I concentrate on my hand. I imagine I am already there. I already punched his hand. This is my imagination while that. And then I'm already much faster. And of course my hand is the first thing what comes and everything else follows. Like this Marco cannot see uh, when I start striking. This is the secret behind it. Let's make one more round. Uh, you still come a little bit um, some more too much with your shoulder in front. Really try that this uh, bam, bam, okay. from the imagination. Uh, very good. So that was the first one what I wanted to show you. Um, the second one is always a really, really good one. It is, uh, we stay on one leg in front of each other, like this. And now, 
we take our hands like that. And now it is about pulling. My job is, or his job is also that the other one is falling on like this on one leg. Then this one lost. So um, the game about this is whether I pull him and he is losing his um, balance or he tries to pull me and he is losing his balance while I take my hands back. So we always should stay in balance. This is um, the secret about it. And absorb the energies from the other one. Yeah, already better, Marco. You have to be a little, a little bit faster with the hands when you pull them, uh, when you take them back. <laughs> yeah, that is also a really nice exercise what you can do with your training uh, spotting body. So, um, a third one we also have, this is called Chi Zhao, or when you translate it, it's called sticking hands. Uh, sticking hands means in this case that you stay like this. Exactly, and the hands are sticking together like that, as you see. Let me show maybe like that. So, and now we make circles with that. And um, my goal is now to use his power, not work against his power, his flow, and then to strike him. For example, like this. And uh, his goal is, my goal try to strike me once. To take this somehow away. In the and in the best case, Marco try again to strike me. Ah, this time also it didn't work out. The best case is when I even can um, use his energy while he is striking to bring him down. But um, this is really the best case. In that case, he was also too fast. It's not always working out. Main thing is that he don't uh, catch you and that you, um, yeah, that you hit him. But of course, not hard. I strike with you. Like that. And you can of course also use both arms 
Let's go and do this one like this. And the camera sees us better. And do this back. So, stay again like this. Exactly. Try. Try. And important is also that we, um, when after we are hit, for example, he hits me, then I cannot, even if he doesn't hit me strong, because he doesn't want to hit me strong, I cannot just use this because he's maybe in that moment like here and open, that I make them like this, but he hit me already, no, no. I have to wait one short moment after he hit me, like um, to um, show reaction on this, because in a real fight, when he would hit me, I also wouldn't go immediately like this. Uh, I also would uh, stay a moment like this and then keep on. And this, of course, we also make in respect to our training bodies, to our partners with whom we train, that we also wait then after he hit me or I hit him for a short um, moment. But make, Marco, make it more out of uh, like a, like we are standing here and talking, more in that way, and then the tech comes. No way. Yeah. No like this, and then bam. More, more out of the surprise. Try like this. And when you come out of the surprise, I should try to defeat it. What you are doing there is already light spotting, which is not so passive. So this we can also do, but for this we don't have so much space here. Just standing there, thinking, and I get you. Simple as that. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> so, now we can also make maybe for a short moment also light spotting normal. So this is now our normal fighting stance, exactly. And there we can also... But always important, of course, I don't hit him hard. Come oh, on, no. don't run away. So this is also a possibility how you can train. Ah, come on. One yeah. more. Hey, come on. <laughs> Dangerous one, yeah? Yeah, so um, this is, as I said, also a possibility how you can train together, how you can, it's also a very funny way. Um, to uh, end, the, for example, your uh, training day. Definitely, uh, for you, I think, was also fun, right? <laughs> Spotting. <laughs> yeah, and um, now we will show you uh, some other things. Yeah, now I would like to show you also what you can train with your partner really well, locks. Um, this is quite impossible to do with loan, and um, therefore, I will uh, show you to how to put somebody in the lock and also how to come out and how to train this together with your partner. Marco? For example, I will try now to put Marco in the lock. I have uh, different possibilities. I could, for example, make it like this. And then Marco tries to come out of this. this um, it is possible, but now I make it a little bit difficult. More. Now try again. Try to come out. No? No, no. <laughs> but um, I will show you how. Marco, try to block me. I go always with this move. For example, sorry. Try to block me again, maybe on the other side. Now, it makes like this, exactly. Like this, you can also train it. That you at one point have him, and um, or he has you at one point. Okay, everything good? Of course, make it soft. You don't want to. Uh, you know, you uh, don't want to injure our training partner. So, for example, Marco grip like this, and now we can, for example, try to bring us in the hooks, and when we have it, then um, after we let our partner, of course, try, try now with me. And when I have him like this, then I can, of course, again... So, try again. Now I, have, I, now I can block him, for example, here. This is also a really good one. 
And like this, you can train it with your partner. As I say, it's more playing around. So maybe once he will also manage it to get me in a hook, maybe uh, not. But uh, this is not important. Right now it's important that we learn from each other. That I learn to see already before he is doing something, what he will do. And for him the same, of course. And to feel the, uh, your enemy's um, body energies and so on, in which direction he's moving. They are masters. When you touch them with this finger, and it's dark, they know where is your feet. And this kind of stuff you also learn. Now Marco should move, otherwise I have him soon in the lock. Marco, think. No, I will direct him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dive, 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 dive. Exactly. And now, if Marco would have been clever at the last moment, he could have punched me. Ah. So there's also a trick that I, uh, he cannot move out. Policemen often do it. And that way when I have him here, that I take him here. Then he cannot come out anymore. It is very difficult for him. Because I have him from both sides. And I could break his arm easily if I want to. But of course I don't want that. And this is a way how to make it your, uh, enemy, for your enemy more difficult to come out. The only possibility when I have him on the shoulder is that he dives under. But therefore he must be fucking fast. So the best way is, uh, make a look on me. When you are simply faster than him. This is really a question of being fast. Maybe the other direction maybe once. I meant you to the other direction, this one, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, on this, you see already, um, great possibility also to train with your training buddy. And yeah, that were just some examples what you can do, or already many examples, I hope. And I hope you could get some information out of this. You could learn a lot of it. It was some fun to watch and hopefully even more fun to try it for you at home with your buddy. And in this way also, thanks again, Marco, that you took this time. Thank you, friends. And yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for training with us. See you. Ciao.